Every eye is different. And this is why I decided to use my housemates as references. Together with me. Hi guys, this is the ultimate eye drum tutorial in my style. Let's start. Step one, base shape. In this step, we will take the sketchy liner brush from my sketchy brush set and we will start making the shape of the eye and the eyebrow together. This is not something I see a lot of artists do, but for me it works perfectly. Step two, eye structure. Now we will create the sketch inside of the structure we just made. Let yourself be messy, it doesn't really matter too much, you should experiment and erase if you make any mistakes. Try to look at the whole picture, at the whole shapes, that's how you avoid messing up the dynamic and the anatomy. You can see right away how different the shapes are and that's why the step one is so important to me, at least. Sometimes we focus on the wrong things and like the shape of the whole eye is way more important than little details. So like defining it in the beginning is so important for me. I'm so glad we have such different eye structures so you can kind of see the differences. Step three, line art. In this step, obviously, we're going to make a new layer on the top of the other layer. I'll take my line art pencil for my sketchy brush set and I'll make the line art. Here, you should already try and make it a little bit cleaner. You can see me using the hold and move option on Procreate. I really like it because that's how you get very clean, very nice lines. I, of course, try to stylize it a little bit because I am not going for the 100% realistic look. So you can see me changing some things like making the, like the eyeliner bigger. And in general, I'm just trying a lot of things. I never really stop trying things out. I always erase, I go back so much, but I feel like this is the best way to learn in any step of the way when you're learning to draw. When I'm making the iris, I actually make a new layer separately from the eye, so I can move it around so it's easier to draw. Now I'll just quickly... Oh, you saw my head. I'll just quickly show you uh, my second friend's eye. I, I, I really love how different it is. And now you can see my eye. You can see me drawing in some places lighter and some places darker, but, but it doesn't really matter actually, because later we'll change the color of the liner anyway, so don't worry about that. Now step three, coloring. This step might be the longest one. By the way, I take the extra smooth edges coloring from my cartoonish makeup brush set and I just color everything in. There's not really anything important in particular right now. This is just flat coloring. If I want to change the colors with an airbrush, I alpha lock it like right now, because it's just so much easier. Just try to save your time, guys. And for the colors, what kind of colors you choose, you can of course sample it from the reference, but it's also always good to try and get the color right yourself you can see me not using the right color but it was on purpose because i like to change it i like to choose my own colors i like the saturated colors that's why you see the orange so much and now i took the blending brush from my only blend brush set i blended everything and you kind of lost every edge i had but that's just the way i do it i like to first like give the soft shadows and then I use the fast shading layering <laughs> brush and I try to give it a little bit more definition, a little bit more contrast. And it's actually, for me, it's a long process because I blend it out, I add some more edges, more contrast, I blend it out again until I'm happy. So this is the next eye. I love also how different our skins are, it was, it was so fun to draw such different eyes and skins and colors and everything. 
Um, I erase the line art from eyebrow. I always do it. I don't like to leave the line art on the eyebrow. And again, doing exactly the same thing like with the previous eye. I like to add definition and contrast as I go. It's like the most comfortable way to draw for me. And let's go to the last eye, my eye. And by the way, I'm so sorry about the quality of this video because the first one, my first friend's eye video is way better quality. Just the focus is lost. I don't know what happened. So I'm not going to show you guys too long of the last two videos. And I'm going to focus on the first eye to show you everything. Still doing the coloring right here. I'm coloring the eyebrow in and I'm going to erase the line art again because I don't like to leave it. And then I'm alpha locking it and just changing the the shading a little bit. It's very easy. Just take the airbrush and add some different color so it's softer maybe. It's very easy. I never take too much time to do it. Adding the eye corner, of course, we can just leave it. And I'm making, just just like I said, I'm making the, the line art darker and then I'm changing the colors. I just alpha locked the line art. I took the airbrush, like a saturated color, and I colored it in. I absolutely love this step. This makes the whole drawing look so much better and it's so easy also. Let's add the iris and go to the next one. Right here, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So color in the line art. I do it at, at the top uh, of the eye and the bottom and I leave the, la the eyeliner part completely black. I just like it like this. Also, one of my favorite steps is giving the shadow on the eyeball. <laughs> just select it, use the airbrush, black color and draw from the top. It is also so easy so effective i i love when it is like this and again <laughs> the loss of focus just hurts my eyes but i hope you guys can forgive me for this almost the last step step four eyelashes this is actually a very easy but very important step i use my perfect eyelashes brush set for this and remember this is a very important tip when you start drawing eyelashes, for me at least, it's the easiest when I start with like the third eyelash from the left or the right, it doesn't matter. Just start with the middle eyelash and make the middle eyelash the longest and slightly to the side. I hope you won't know what I mean. You, you saw a, like on the previous eye, on this eye, I started with the middle eyelash. I made it the longest, not that much longest, but just a little bit longest. And I went from there. I always struggled so much, so much with drawing eyelashes. But since I started doing it like this, it was just so much easier. Um, step four, highlights. This is also a very quick step. I'm just get, getting my gloss free brush from my Cartoonish Makeup brush set. And I am going to experiment a lot here. Um, and this is like, this is the best way to do it. Like I love to experiment, trying out different things because for different drawings, different things are going to work best. And this is like the third option already, but I'll change it. I think I'll change it later. And the next eye, slightly different highlights. I always try to do something different. And I chose blue. Like I love to add, add different saturated highlights. It looks so good for me. And, and the last step, step five, is finishing touches. This is such a broad um, thing. Like, I will do so many things. But it's still a very important, a very crucial uh, part of the drawing. This is where I most of the time get from liking the drawing, kind of, to loving it. You have to just allow yourself to change to erase to go back you know you can see me changing the the skin layer you can see me changing the iris i will change the the highlights too i wanted to give it more contrast to be honest and more situation oh and one thing 
one thing I'm doing right now, it's very nice most of the time. I just draw with a color that's fitting uh, with an airbrush and I change it to color dodge or add effect. And I, I make it fit and it looks actually amazing most of the times. So I, I love to use that. One thing you should really try that you'll see me doing right now is taking a blending brush and just blending some parts, like some random lines. It just looks so much softer and so much better. I don't know why, but I love the effect. I don't know where I learned that, but I did somewhere and I loved it immediately. Mm, this is the finished piece. Now you're going to the next one. And common thing you see me doing is changing the liner slightly, making the uh, eyeliner a little bit bigger, changing the skin, not too much things, but just details that you only know you need when you see the almost finished piece. I add some color, some pink, I make the eyebrow lighter, and we are basically done. There are not many particular things I can tell you about changing this drawing, but I am very happy with the effect. I love the blue, blue detail. And this is my eye, which I am so angry that this looks so bad. I am again giving my eye a little bit more saturation by doing a color dodge. Hi guys, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you watching my whole video. And if you appreciate me making the video, then give it a <laughs> then make sure to give it a thumbs up because it's really helps me. I really spend a lot of time to make this video. Uh, I hope you really liked it and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you like it, if you like me, and I will see you in the next one. And make sure to check out my website with my brush sets that I used in this video. And yeah, um, I love you. Bye.